Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. I'd like to thank you for joining CA today for our presentation with Ron with Member Choice Vacations. Our presentation today will focus on Western Canada, and although right now it's not safe to travel at this time, it never hurts to dream or plan for the future. Please let me introduce myself. My name is Stacy, and I'm based in the Bears Lake location here in Halifax. I've been with uh, CAA for 16 years and have 22 years experience in the travel industry. I'd like to go over a few housekeeping items um, prior to the webinar beginning today. Firstly, you all are muted throughout the presentation just to reduce any background noise or feedback we may receive. If you have any questions, you will be able to click on the orange arrow on the control panel along the side of your screen on the right hand side and type your question in the question field there. All of the questions will be answered at the end of the presentation. And if we don't have time to answer all of your questions, you'll be answered individually af after the end of the presentation. You can maximize um, your enjoyment by viewing the presentation in full screen mode. And the volume of, on the videos may need to be adjusted to your individual computer as they've been recorded at a lower volume than the actual session's volume. Lastly, our presentation will be approximately 30 minutes today. Thank you again for joining us, and I'm going to pass things over to my coworker, Beth. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Beth Hudson, and I'm actually the branch manager in the St. John CAA. Um, I've been in the travel industry for about 35 years, and the last 13 with CAA. I've been fortunate enough to visit Western Canada a couple of times and actually lived in northern BC and Prince George for five years. It's an amazing destination with some beautiful scenery and some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. So to take us on this amazing journey out west, I would like to introduce our special guest, Ron Lonsdale. Ron is the Vice President of Member Choice Vacations and has been proudly representing the company for over 27 years. Yes, Ron, you started as a child. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's living the dream as he's been fortunate and blessed to have experienced six continents and over 70 countries and hoping there is more to come. So Ron, I'm passing it over, it's all yours. Thank you, Beth and, and Stacy. And Hello, folks. I hope you're, uh, you and your families are keeping well and healthy, and, and it's not going to be too long before we reconnect the joy of travel. And what better country to get us inspired than our own beautiful backyard of Western Canada? And, um, you know, we're anticipating that we're going to be traveling to that part of the country come late summer and early fall. Now, Now, sorry about that, it was frozen there for a little bit. Traveling with CA Member Choice comes with benefits that really takes the guided travel experience to another level. Member Choice gives you more peace of mind, more member benefits, more expertise, more on tour, and the more needed flexibility. And our goal is to enhance life's journeys by creating extraordinary travel experiences. Now, we do not, you know, we have a real breadth of product. We have 160 tours to all seven continents. We're a premium operator, four star, five star experience. We just don't have one type of uh, tour. We have five distinctive travel styles. So each tour style is uniquely designed to fit your travel needs. And no matter how you want to see the world, we can take you there. Whether you want to travel across an entire country, dive into a local culture where you want more of the antiquities, cultures, and flavor. Or visit the greatest cities, you know, where you're doing the iconic landmarks and major attractions. And every experience is going to be right for you. Now, when I talk about culinary immersive experiences, you know, it, it's important that, you know, when you're dining, you're just not eating in banquet halls. You're going out for the local delicacies and flavors and we have exclusive experiences regional specialties home hosted meals and you know that's part of traveling now as a ca member you receive an added member benefit of a hundred dollars off of every member choice vacations you book in addition you'll enjoy a special savings up to 75 dollars for an optional excursion very few on tour the added bonus is combinable with the you know, with any seasonal sale or biggest sale or any other campaigns. And I just wanted to note that CA Vacations is a program, Member Choice Vacation is the product, and it's operated by Colette, and we're celebrating our 103rd year in the travel industry. We call it Member Choice Vacations so that CA members get the exclusive membership benefits and travel um, credits 
that you won't get with any other retail travel supplier. Now, are you dreaming of the Swiss Alps? You know, I, I, I kid about that, but you know, how about the Canadian Rockies and Glacier National Park? And you're gonna get ready for an adventure. On this tour, you get to experience the stunning province of Alberta. The landscape encompasses like majestic mountains, prairies, the desert badlands, vast forests, more lakes. Um, and this is a marvelous one week vacation. Now, we start in Calgary, but we spend a night, uh, you know, in, in Cowtown, as I call it, the true Texas of the North. But, uh, you know, it's situated near the Bow River. And Calgary was surprised with his beauty. Um, and if you get the chance to go in July, you need to take in the greatest outdoor show in the world, the Calgary Stampede. It, it really is simply amazing. And it's our culture. Um, I was lucky to get out there with my family a couple of years ago. And my boys still talk about, you know, the truck wagon races, the rodeo. And, you know, also this tour, it journeys south to the prairie lands. And while enjoying the views of the spectacular Rockies, we actually make a stop at Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump. And this is located in the foothills of the Rockies. And this was used by our, our First Nations people, the North American Plains for over 5,500 years, very picturesque. Now, this place is a hidden gem. Um, this is Waterton, and it's, it's a quiet na uh, national park, unassuming, full of nature. We spend two nights at the Bayshore Inn, a wonderful resort and spa. Wa Waterton Lakes is a UNESCO heritage site, um, and it's an international peace park. So the area sits on the border between Canada and the United States, so Montana, and it provides a rich environment for plant and animal species. Now, Beth, I know you're going to unmute yourself, but uh, you have a couple of stories or a story to share because you had the pleasure of working here. And what was your experience like? Oh, it was amazing, Ron. It was definitely a few years ago, so I'm sure it's changed a bit. But as a university student, I actually worked at the Bayshore Inn as their hostess um, for a summer, and it was spectacular. Um, I didn't even know Waterton, and actually my boyfriend at the time and my husband worked as the gardener at the Prince of Wales Hotel, which you have just shown right now. Um, I didn't even know Waterton existed when I applied for the job, and when we got there, there was actually more... Um, mountain goats than there were people. So it's definitely less inhabited and definitely less touristy and just beautiful. Um, and we did actually get a chance to go to the, the Twin Parks, the Glacier National Park in Montana. And it's it's unbelievable. And again, just less lot, a lot less touristy and uh, a lot more nature and it, it was spectacular. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. And you're right. This Pitcher's Hotel looks like a, a home in a fairy tale. And the famous Prince of Wales is perched upon a hill and set a gra uh, against this beautiful backdrop of towering mountains. And it's it's only just up the road from the Bayshore Inn. Um, it took me about a 20 minute walk and I had the pleasure of uh, sitting down and having this picturesque view. And uh, the reason we don't use this hotel is that we have a number of tours that go through there and they just don't have a lot of rooms to accommodate us. But the Bayshore Inn uh, Resort is, is in a perfect uh, location. Now, um, this is an incredible day, and we venture out and experience the beauty of the Glacier National Park, talking about uh, the mountain goats and just the wildlife and amount of species and bird life, but it's a naturalist paradise, and the glacier preserves over one million acres of forest, alpine meadows and lakes, and we get to ride a, a jammer. Uh, it's an open-air touring car, and so during the visit to the Glacier National Park, uh, you know, we get this remarkable view of the Glacier National Park as we drive along the Going to the Sun Road in, in Montana. So this is a, a full day adventure. Now, we make our way up north, enjoy a stop at Pato Lake. And this is a turquoise glacier fed lake and it's located in Banff National Park in the Canadian Rockies. And it was named after Wild Bill Pato. Um, you know, just the stories that our guide tells of, but this was an early trail guide and pioneer, and he was quite the character. So what he would do is he would take visitors on an expedition uh, into the woods um, and leave them for loss. And then the RCMP would have to go to a local saloon and track down Wild Bill and, and beg him and, uh, to go back out and fetch them home safely. So those were the days. But doesn't this lake resemble a fox? You can see the head. And then in the Bam Springs, uh, you know, this is situated, you know, between tall pine trees and sparkling spray, spraying rivers. Um, and they, they call it the castle in the rocks. And Cornelius Van Horn, the general manager of the CP Rail, he said, if we can't export the scenery, we'll import the tourists and build this beautiful hotel. 
and you get a panoramic view from the Sunrise Corner, it's a popular sightseeing area. You also get a bird's eye view of the river and the valley, and it's been shaped by glaciers over time. Um, the town was named after Bamshire, Scotland. That was the home of Cornelius Van and uh, Horn. I mean, you'll get the history of, uh, you know, talking about John A. Macdonald, the Confederation of Canada, and how the railroad was built. And, you know, we spent two nights here in the Banff Springs on our Canadian Rockies train tour. Um, now, I don't know, but before we check into our hotel, we stopped the powerful Bow Falls. And uh, it was named after First Nations where they've left their bows. And it's uniquely wide and and short, but uh, like uh, other waterfalls. Um, but I don't know if anyone remembers the 1954 movie, The River No Return, starring Marilyn Monroe. I believe it was Robert Mitchum and Sammy Davis Jr. But uh, Marilyn actually hurt her ankle filming this movie. And uh, I did one of the historian tours of the Band Springs and uh, the curator takes us around and I see, you see some photos of Marilyn with crutches. And one photo that really caught my eye and my attention was a bellboy who had a black eye and it was, standing beside Marilyn Monroe, which was pretty funny. But the story goes that she needed a hand every morning to get from the Bam Springs to the Bow River, and all the bellmen would fight each other to see who would accompany her down to the river. So that's just one of many stories. But uh, then we visit the famous Lake Louise, where we spend an afternoon admiring Victoria Glacier, uh, the turquoise waters. We talk about the rock flower. But then we go into the amazing, clear, vibrant blue-green waters of the Moraine Lake, which is just down the road. And, uh, you'll, you know, this is... Um, situated among the jagged mountain peaks. Uh, those peaks are part of the Valley of the Ten Peaks, and we look at our money, and you can see that photo. Um, but again, be you know, we have some time here, and I just wanted to point out where, you know, travel being the true educator, and one of the few things that we can buy that makes us richer. And you know, uh, my son and I really got up early morning, and it was it was about June. And we went on the trail and we we're going to Lake Agnes and, and uh, to experience Lake Agnes's tea house. And to the right, you see the beehive. So there's a little beehive and the big beehive. But down below, we ended up stopping at Mirror Lake. And, um, and I was explaining to my son about Mirror Lake. And he's like, Dad, can you just be quiet? And I was like, quiet? Like, what's up, son? And he said, you know, this is Frank Carmichael's um, painting watercolor paintings that i got to know about at mcmichael art collection on a school trip and you know i had a, a tear in my eye because you know you ever ask your son you know what did he do in school today nothing what did he learn nothing and and so this really was one of the most memorable experiences i've ever had in my life and just look at the scenery and you know making our way up to lake agnes's tea house uh, and just how quiet and tranquil and peaceful and and this is my son carter just said you know, looking down from the big beehive uh, to the turquoise waters of Lake Louise. So again, just just marvelous traveling. We journey um, along the unforgettable Icefields Parkway, a road running through the heart of the two major national parks of Jasper and Banff. And uh, here you take in the picturesque waterfalls, rivers, glaciers, you know, the cliffs and mountaintops. And you have to be on the lookout for the bears, elk, and bighorn sheep. And they have these um, uh, wildlife bridges uh, that have animal uh, passing across the highway. And um, when you, you know, also we provide a choice on tour. Most of our major tours always have a choice of uh, an included activity. Uh, this is where on selected days uh, you get to choose um, what you want to do, what appeals to you. And that at the Athabasca Glacier, you can choose from a fun ride on the snow coach or take a glacier walk on the skywalk. And it's, 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 it's incredible. And uh, like I said, this is in our backyard. And, you know, some people always think of Europe, but look at this lush, you know, uh, amazing scenery that you get in the Western Canada. And, you know, when I talk about nostalgia, I talk about discovering the romance of the historical Canadian rail system. There is no other trip quite like taking the train across the Canadian Rockies. But you get to watch it through a giant picture window as the landscape shifts. You know, we go from the sparkling Pacific Ocean uh, of Vancouver to lush green rainforest and the sky piercing mountains. This train tour on Via uh, on the Canadian, we actually spend a night aboard this train. And what I loved about it is you can move around, plenty of things you to do. And I'm just going to give you a, a, a quick glance uh, and I'm going to play this video.
Now, um, when we take the train, the VIA, we actually hop on board in Vancouver about 2.30, and we actually have dinner, and it is an exquisite dinner. So, you know, you're the fine BC wines, the Alberta beef, there's, you know, if you have a very vegetarian or dietary concerns, not to worry. Um, and again, the one thing is that I enjoyed was that I didn't have to just sit in my seat. You know, we had the dome car. Um, you can see the lounge car, which people did stay uh, to the wee hours of the morning. Um, you had uh, a library. It, it's just everything on board. And it was so fun and interactive, very immersive. And so um, the other thing is these cozy sleepers. So, um, you know, you got rock to sleep. You wake up in the morning, you're having your coffee, you're looking out, and it's just spectacular beauty, landscape, heart of the Rockies. I'm going for breakfast, and, you know, we get into um, Jasper around noon. And uh, this is where we spend two nights in Jasper, the heart of the Canadian Rockies, and it's really the home to grizzly bears, elk, nut, some interesting northern critters. Um, and one in the mornings, we go to the Mullane Lake for breakfast. And this is the largest national lake in Canadian Rockies. Um, and this is just another great day of photos. Um, and we make a, a visit to the Mullane Canyon. We talk about tectonic plates, talk about the crevices. I'm not a naturalist, but uh, our guide just just a wealth of information. And you just marvel at the sheer beauty of the Athabasca Fall. Um, Ron, sorry yeah. to interrupt. We can't see your slides. You can't see my slides. No. Okay. There we go. It's back there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. That was, I'm glad you interrupted me there, but uh, I'm just going to see. So that's, so we've seen that. I'm just going to quickly, my bad. But again, I talked about all that fine dining, the visitor dome, the lounge car, uh, the cozy sleeper, you know, just imagine waking up in the morning, seeing the Rockies, having breakfast. And then this was I, I was just talking about. And my apologies. Uh, I'm seeing the slides. And, uh, you know, this is our, our great time in Jasper. Now, budget, you know, like people's uh, we have a new tour and this is called Western Canadian Rockies Lakes and Wine Country. And this tour uh really has all the must-sees you expect in the western region it has soaring peaks sparkling lakes wine country to cowboy culture and we'll get to know the spirit of western canada so again we're into calgary a couple of nights in banffs revelstoke which is right in the interior two nights in Kelowna, and then two nights in vancouver but we talk about what's immersive and uh, we visit a local ranch for a traditional albertan barbecue lunch uh complete with a tour of the property by a horse drawn wagon and uh, I'm not much of a, a dancer the two left feet but uh, we were able to walk off uh, burn off our lunch uh, with line dancing and it was quite fun love cowboy music and then our journey is gonna uh, by motor coach will take us uh, into Revelstoke and we'll stop at the railway museum for an interactive and fun visiting uh, visit connecting like our history of the Canadian Pacific Railroad and this was cool. Um, this tour really gets special when we make our way into the Okanagan Valley for two relaxing, immersive nights. This is the agricultural gem of the region. I know uh, Indianapolis, but you know when I talk about a garden belt, but it's it's a region full of quaint towns, lush vineyards, uh, Valier Blue Lakes and rivers. And en route, we'll stop this third generation family. And this is uh, the Gasky family, and they have the best cherry pie. Uh, you know it's it's an agriculture it's fruit um you know just gelato I, I i can go on and on and on but this uh uh paul here is the owner he's indigenous and first nation and uh, this is in him is regalia but just you know you go for the place you stay for its people and it was a fun time but it even gets better um and of course we, you wouldn't go to Canada's wine region without indulging in a little vino. This is Peak Cellar, and they got their cave cellar with their sparkling wines. But this really reminds me of Napa, maybe a little uh, Tuscan feeling of, uh, of the Chianti wines and the rolling hills, and it's just gorgeous. And also, they have a greenhouse, uh, best wooden oven pizza I had. But what they do is you can see the tomatoes, but it really is farm to table. So there, there's a choice of menu that we have. You know, we depart our hotel about 4.30, get there about, um, about five-ish, beautiful sunset. 
We're there to about 8.30 and it's just a remarkable time and, and one of the most memorable uh, experiences you'll have for the uh, for any foodie. Now, of course, uh, we talk about uh, you know Vancouver. This trip wouldn't be complete without doing Stanley Park, Grenville Island, aside from the must-sees. But uh, this really is uh, a wonderful tour that it was just uh, built new for us by our curator and our, um, product designers. Um, it hits in a remarkable price point, um, and we know that. Um, you know, each member that travels with Member Choice Vacation deserves a real memorable and fulfilling travel experience, and we continue to deliver on that promise. Your health and well-being, well, your well-being remains a focus and top priority. And um, you know, things are changing constantly, but our team of consultants, uh, you know, we we go by the health and security experts around the world. Our vendors, our tour directors, got a you know COVID training. I can I can go on and on for hours you know, and how we have um, are allowing 35 to 40% open seating on our coaches for that good physical social distancing. You know, you're gonna re require vaccination, a negative test, or a, a proof of recovery. So there's so much information, and that's the one thing we love working with uh, your CA professional travel agents. They're very knowledgeable, experienced. Uh, they can consult you. They provide some guided insights that saves you money. And, um, you know, as the world in, in, as the pandemic is pushing us towards digital, also wanted to introduce this new Ultimate Travel Planner app by Colette. So you can hold the entire world in your hands. The Colette Compass Travel app provides you with a wealth of knowledge. Um, this is an easy use uh, digital companion, doesn't require data or being connected to the Wi-Fi. You, you upload it 45 days out prior to your departure, has no before you go, conver uh, currency conversion, uh, city maps, diary, day-by-day -day itineraries, your, your flight schedules, everything. Um, and the other thing is, you know, we can't wait to share the world's beauty and culture to our guests. So we're more committed than ever to take care of the places we work, live, and travel. And it's all about community, people, travel, and planet. And our goal is to make a positive impact on the world, so for generations of travelers to explore. Um, you know, we're very mindful. We know the current landscape uh, and what the environment is, but uh, again, we are, we're cautiously optimistic that we'll have some domestic travel come late summer and overseas traveling in the fall. Uh, but we do have a spring into savings. The biggest sale of the year is up to 20% off. North American tours are at 10, Europe is at 15, our exotic and small group tours are at 20. Um, and this, um, We've made an exception, an extension for C8 Land in Canada, but it's April 12th to the 23rd, but we're giving it to the end of the month. Uh, and also we're gonna give members an opportunity for more needed flexibility. They can change their tour or change the uh, date up to 60 days prior to departure, no change fees. And the other thing is, you know, we do have a breadth of product, great hotel selection, on-tour pacing, culinary experiences, choice on tours, unique tours. We know travel is gonna be more meaningful and purposeful when the time is right to reconnect the joy of travel, we'll be ready when the world's ready to have us. And I'm gonna end with a quick closing video. How many times have you told yourself, someday, someday you'll travel to that special place? Stop waiting for the perfect time and make this time Perfect. This is your trip of a lifetime. Your someday is here. Can you see me now again? Yep. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Ron. That was that was amazing. Um, definitely makes me want to go back. Brought back a lot of memories. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I've never gotten a chance to do out west with member choice vacations, but I did have the opportunity to do a Peru with them a couple of years ago, and it was an amazing experience. Um, the tour directors, um, everyone who looked was there to look after us, and especially the insights and the little facts that you gave that you're not going to get when you travel anywhere by yourself. So great job. Um, I don't see any questions at this time, but if you did type in any questions and we didn't answer, um, I just want to let you know that we will be sending emails out later and it hopefully to get to everyone. 
And if for some reason there is a question that you, you know, think of later, please don't hesitate to um, reach out to your CAA travel advisor, or you can actually even email travel at atlantic.caa.ca. So I also want to remind you that um, we have our virtual travel show going on all weekend. So we have a lot more very unique and very interesting destinations that you can view. Um, if you're looking for more information, if you want to sign up, you can visit our website at www.atlantic.caa.ca slash travel. So it's going on this afternoon. It'll be on Sunday and actually all the way into Monday. So I think we're just going to say a huge thank you. And actually, MCV was very nice to donate a wonderful do uh, door prize of 250 um, MC member choice vacation dollars, which can be used towards your next vacation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the names of everyone who has um, attended and we're going to draw later. And the great winner will be notified by email later, probably in the next few days when we're finishing up our presentations. And Beth, I just want to say I have one of our tour directors that will be taking us through the wonderful, spectacular country of Portugal at two o'clock. And yes. you're you want it, you're going to want to attend that presentation. Very good. Very good. So keep that in mind, everyone. And again, just go on the CAA website and you can join up for any of the presentations that are taking place. So okay. um, I think that's the final. I don't see any more questions or anything. I just want to thank everyone for attending and a special thank you for Ron. It was a great presentation. And of course, Stacey for, for joining us. Um, hopefully we can all get the opportunity to join Member Choice Vacations um, and visit this beautiful part of our own country. Um, let's fingers crossed that uh, we will be able to in the near future get there and, uh, and visit it. Um, again, I just want to thank everyone for attending and don't forget that we have lots more presentations in including Portugal coming up later this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Bye you. everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye.